Hey. What's your skincare routine? Hey. What the heck? What's your skincare routine? Hey. What's the skincare routine? Okay, 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 fine. I'll share it with you, but you have to promise me one thing. Don't touch nothing. Oh, and I guess y'all can come too. It's the way, the way, it's the way, it's the way, it's the way that you It's the way that you talk, way that you pop, way, way, way that you pop, way, way that you talk. Okay, guys, so we are here and we are now about to get into the skincare routine. Before we do that, oh, what it do? Oh, what's up? Y'all didn't think I forgot, huh? All right, so welcome back to your channel. In today's video, we are getting all into my highly requested skincare routine, as you guys saw in the little pre-clips, okay, the little skit. This is going to be my entire nighttime skincare routine, and then another video will be my morning time, but right now we are getting into the nighttime skincare routine. So my skin is oily combination, so I have some oily spots, then I have some combination spots. My oily areas are my T-zone areas, so oily right here, right here, right here, oily sis, okay? And then my dry areas are around here and around the perimeter of my face mainly. So just to get started, here are some things that I don't go without. First and foremost, water. Okay, it says make sure you have some water. This is so important to clear skin in general, but most definitely just as a relaxation for when you are doing your skincare routine, make sure you have some H2O, okay, sis? And then I also have my large satin scrunchie, and this is also to pull the hair back out of my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now because we can't be sacrificing no good hair just to wash our face, okay? And the hair cannot get in the way, sis. So go ahead and pull that hair on back, just like that. So now let's get into the skin care, okay? So what I like to use, um, I've been using this line for a while, and that is Dermalogica. You guys can kind of see it. So this is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse, and this is basically, it's gonna get off all of my makeup and everything, so, Love, love, love using the pre-cleanse. So I used to be a big fan of coconut oil. However, what I've learned about coconut oil is that it really clogs the pores apparently. So this is a, a better formula to get off that makeup and it works just as great if not better. So this is my face right now. You guys see the makeup. Well, let me just do like this so y'all can see. Okay, so you guys see the makeup on my skin. Y'all see all that makeup, right? Eyebrows, lashes, lips, all that. So this is what we're gonna do with the pre-cleanse. I'm gonna sit right here to show you guys. And watch how, look at this. <laughs> Sis. Break down all of those particles with a swipe. It takes it off so easily. And don't forget to get around the edges too, because that is where we have a lot of makeup buildup, because around the edges, uh, if you slay your edges nine out of 10 times, you don't want to like get your edges messed up. So you may avoid going near them, but sis, it's worth to just redo the edges, because you have to cleanse this part of your head as well. I'm gonna just have to redo my edges, I already know, but that's okay, because my skin is going to be clean. I look so beautiful. And now let's rinse with warm water. Then I'm gonna go in with my special cleansing gel, also by Dermalogica. This has saved my face, I feel, y'all. I love, love, love this stuff right here. 
It is very sensitive, does not break me out or anything, and a little bit goes a good way. I'm gonna go in with a little bit, get it a good lather, and then get in there. Oh, also, I almost forgot, y'all. So I was reading the comments on YouTube one day and someone recommended to put scrunchies around your wrist to catch the water that drips. And y'all, they are genius. It works so well. So that's what I do now to prevent all the water going down my elbow. I put the scrunchies on. So make sure that you are massaging this into your face for one, at least one minute. And the reason why it's one minute, guys, is because a minute really allows the, at the ingredients in the actual wash to activate onto your skin. So you may feel like your face is clean before one minute, which it honestly may be. However, you want to continue to wash because you want all those active ingredients, all those ingredients to become active onto your skin and so your skin can get all those benefits. And don't forget to wash them brows as well because y'all, I, I get bumps in my brows sometimes and I believe it's from me not cleaning them enough. So I don't neglect my brows either. And another place not neglect is your neck. Do not neglect the neck and boom. Clean skin. Now I'm not even going to dry my skin. I'm going to go straight in with my exfoliant. And the exfoliant that I'm going to use is my Dermalogica, once again, <laughs> the Micro Exfoliant by Dermalogica. I really enjoy this one because it works great on my skin, y'all. It is not, it's not too rough or anything. But what you do is wet your hands, which mine are already wet, and then you just pour a little bit into your hands and then you rub it on in and it becomes like this, a white paste. And then you just go on in and exfoliate. It has exfoliant seeds in it, so that's what makes it exfoliate your skin. And I'm not gonna go too hard on my face right now because I'm also going to use an actual chemical exfoliant, a chemical peel, that I have been loving a lot and I want to show you show that to you guys. So I'm not going too crazy with this exfoliant right now. All right, and we're going to rinse. All right, and once I'm finished that, I get paper towels to dry my face. I do not dry my face with anything other than paper towels because regular towels hold the bacteria And honestly guys, I feel like switching to Dermalogica really did amazing for my skin because I was able to prevent so, like I can just see the difference, the change in my skin. As soon as I started and kept on using Dermalogica, it was just amazing, okay? So this is what my skin is looking like. I also had a few breakouts on my face, so I'm gonna be showing you guys what I do for that as well. So if you do suffer from breakouts, since I have some bomb tips to share with you, so stay tuned. All right, so this is the part of my skincare routine where I like to sit myself down and just relax and enjoy the rest of it. Next, I'm going to go in with my toner. And the toner that I have been using is the Olay Henriksen Glow O2 Dark Spot Toner. You guys, I really do love this stuff. It is so good with correcting dark spots. I feel like it's really, really working so far. I have been loving it. It's also kind of on the expensive side, like in the $30 price range, but you get a good bid and I really do enjoy this. So then I just go ahead and get a cotton pod and put a little bit of toner in. And the directions for this is to work in a circular motion, so that's exactly what I do. Hey guys, I got a wax. My wax lady came over a few days ago to um, give me a wax, and she kind of messed up, like, not messed up, but she, um, something about the wax, I guess it burned me a little bit. I don't know, but I have like a scar right here, but it'll go away. And I work in a circular motion over my dark spots. Once again, 
don't forget the neck. Sis, your skin can't be popping and your neck got wrinkles. Okay? Make sure that neck popping. Don't neglect it now. Next is time for the chemical peels. My absolute favorite, okay? And that is the Dr. Dennis Gross chemical peels. This is what they look like. If you guys have been following me, then you guys know that I really do like these. I um, found out about these from Casey, so she's a YouTuber as well, Casey Ali. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys follow her. I just love them. They really do a great job with even in my skin and just preventing a lot of breakouts from occurring. I have big like spots on my face that are from breakouts, but it's not like my face used to be at all. So now that toner is pretty much dry, so I'm gonna go in with the peel. They have two sides to them, literally, and it's, it's really just a, a little cloth like this. And it has AHA and all types of ingredients in it that are, that means the product is a chemical exfoliant or a chemical peel, something in that area. And it also tingles a little bit, so I love that it tingles. Cause y'all, a tingle to me means that it's working. All right, so you let this sit for two minutes and you come back and then you apply step two. So while that is sitting on for two minutes, I'm gonna do my lip scrub. And the lip scrub that I do is the Sugar, it's a fresh one, it's called Sugar Lip Polish. But honestly guys, you don't need this to be like in order to have a scrub. You can have a scrub, only thing you need is brown sugar and some type of liquid. Like, look up the ways to make your own sugar scrub. It's very, very simple. This one is just, it just came with this package that I had bought from them. So, but if it wasn't for that, I would not have purchased because it honestly is not necessary to purchase a lip scrub or lip polish. Cause you can just make your own very, very simple. So I take it and then just rub it on my lips. Now rinse that off with warm water. And then I'm gonna go in with the lip balm of choice. And the one I use at night is the Aquaphor. Cause this one has a thicker formula. So I like to just use this Aquaphor. It's for dry, cracked, irritated skin. But I just like to use it because it really it does a good job with moisturizing my lips. All right. So now it is the most definitely time to go into step two. So do the exact same thing and then wipe. And I also know guys that my skincare routine is a bit extensive, but I've tried the simple skincare routines and my face does not abide by them. Like it just does not agree. And you wanna make sure too that you let your products dry on your face because that's when your skin has accepted all that product and if you like, put another one on top and one is not dry, it can kind of mess, mess up the bat, like the formulation of that product and also its properties and how well it's gonna work on your skin. So it's better to just not mix the two and just use them separately and just let one dry and then follow up with, with another. So while my face is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for my steaming session. My favorite part of my entire routine so I go, I got this steamer guys off Amazon. It is just a simple like $25 steamer, something like that. It's on my Amazon link, so check the description box for that. And I just love this steamer so much. It's very simple, all you do is just open it up, put water right here, and then put that in here, and it's good to go after you turn it on. So then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna spray my Mario Badescu um, this is the rose water and I'm going to mix that with the hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary. Y'all, hyaluronic acid is so good for your skin, it screams moisture, okay? So you have to use hyaluronic acid, especially if you have drier skin, but even if you have normal skin or oily skin, hyaluronic acid is great because you have to have moisture for your skin. So I, whew, feel, it smells and feels so good. I mix my face with the rose water and then I put the hyaluronic acid on my face.
And I rub that in with the steam. Ugh. So steaming is really important because it helps to open up the pores so that the product can actually accept into your skin. Especially if you have very, very tight cloth pores, it's really, really good for allowing that product to seep into your skin. Um, I also spray my face with this rose water first prior to applying my hyaluronic acid because hyaluronic acid does better whenever it is applied onto a wet surface. So I spray the rose water on first because that rose is great for your skin in general. And then I go in with the hyaluronic acid just so it can really seep into my skin and my skin can really appreciate it. So I steam for about two minutes and then turn it off. And that's that, very, very simple. And now that product is really soaked into my skin, y'all. Like it's basically almost dry, which is crazy because you would think that the steam would like maybe make it more moist but it actually helps that product seep into your skin so well to where my face is basically dry now. So I love how my skin is looking so far, a nice glow and everything, so let's go ahead and move on. Okay, so next thing is more serums. This next tip, y'all, that I'm about to share with y'all is the reason why my skin did so well with clearing up my dark spots. Guys, I'm talking about ascorbic acid. If you have never tried ascorbic acid, this stuff right here is amazing when it comes to dark spots. On both sides, it was so bad. It even had like a big dark spot right here. And y'all, they are fading so well, like fading, sis. So this is a game changer. And I love The Ordinary because they are so affordable and their products really do work. So it is a lightweight formula like this. What I do is apply a little bit right here and I only apply it to my bad areas. I find it's best whenever I press it into my skin. So I literally press this into my skin. So I'm gonna wait a little bit for that to just soak into my skin and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, so we are almost to the end of my skincare routine. I know, I know you guys are like, sis, where's the end? I feel you, I get you. Imagine how I feel every night. So next we're gonna go in with the retinoid, okay? A retinoid is very, very important for the skin, at least my skin. A retinoid is great for dark spots. It prevents aging. Hey, start at a young age, okay? It also minimizes pores. And this is a grain active retinoid 2% emulsion. The other big benefit of a retinoid is it improves the texture of your skin. Funny thing about it is that it's actually like a white color which I thought was pretty weird at first. So it is like a white-ish type of formula. And then rub that on in. And y'all, I love the glow I get just from a retinoid. Like, I love it. So I'm gonna let that go ahead and sit for a little while. While that is doing that, Guys, this next step, I my eyes have never been a really, really big problem, but I do like to make sure that they, they are not too like dark and everything. So recently I got the Skin Store Time Dr. Dennis Gross collaboration, and in that box was this um, new product, and it is the, well not new product, but new to me. Um, it is the Fer Ferulic and Retinol Triple Correction Eye Serum. And y'all, this is amazing for the eyes, okay? And this is what it looks like in the container. And this is how it pumps out on the hand. Just like that. So I only use one pump for both of my eyes. And then I just pat it on and around. And this is where it's very, your, your eye area is very delicate. So make sure to be gentle with that. All right, so now we are at the home stretch, people, okay? 
we're almost finished here. So the next thing that I do is apply my moisturizer and my moisturizer is the Nivea Cream. This is the one that I have reverted to as of lately. Just a plain old Nivea, about $8 for this whole thing. And honestly, I do like it. Before that, I was using Olay, and Olay is just very expensive, um, and I didn't mind buying it again if I actually felt like I saw progress, but I don't know. I wasn't feeling the Olay too much, so I was just like looking up other stuff, and I decided to just go with Nivea, so. And Nivea has kind of like an oilier formula to me, which I mean, I don't like looking as oily as I do, but I also feel moisturized. It is not like a tacky formula either, so I really don't mind it that much. This is the absolute last product, okay? The absolute last product. This is the Dermalogical, once again, the Age Bright Spot Fader. Guys, this is so bomb. I tell you, I see a breakout, I put this on it and it zaps it feels like. Like, it's like zap, like zip, okay? You thought, you ain't paying rent. You ain't paying rent, eviction, now. That's what this product does, okay? Well, before I do this, let me show y'all my skin. Cause I want y'all to see what my skin looks like. This is what my skin is looking like, y'all, after I finish my routine. And I love the glow that my skin has. It looks very moisturized. I just love the way it looks. If it's a bit too shiny to me, I, would, I will just like pat it a little bit, but I don't really care because I'm going to bed and I, my, my face literally soaks all this up overnight. Like I wake up, my skin is not this oily. So that means one thing, one of two things. It's soaking, my, it's soaking all the product up or I sleep terrible, <laughs> which I don't. So it has to be sleep soaking all the product up. So this is what the skin is looking like you guys really did want to see this routine i'm so happy i filmed it for you guys so now we're going to go in with the last step and that's the age bright cleanser all right and that's it really i just put it right here right here and right here so yes guys that is the end of my skincare routine and that's all i really have for you guys today drop some comments in the comment section down below you do appreciate this video and i'm gonna see you guys in my next Bit D yo, uh huh. Peace.